Hey there, I'm James, and in this video, I'm going to answer the age old question of do you drill into the brick or do you drill into the mortar? Everyone has their own opinion on this, and I'm sure you'll give me yours, but I'm going to give you my top three reasons why 99% of the time you should be drilling into the brick and not the mortar. The tools you will need are a hammer drill or combi drill which are pretty essential, a hammer and marking pen, a level if you need to drill two or more holes level with each other, a masonry drill bit, don't forget your personal protective equipment and of course your rule plugs. A yellow rule plug you'll need a 5mm drill bit, red you'll need a 6mm drill bit, brown you'll need a 7mm drill bit and blue you'll need a 10mm drill bit. Choosing the size of rule plug will depend on what type of application you're using it for. Yellow is for light, red is for medium, brown is for general, and blue is for heavy duty. I generally only ever use brown plugs unless I'm drilling into something quite narrow or I'm worried that it might crack. Now the main reason why you should be drilling into the brick and not the mortar is that the mortar has been purposely made to be weaker than the bricks that surround it. This is to avoid the formation of cracks in the bricks themselves. A mortar that is too strong can make the wall too inflexible or rigid, resulting in the bricks cracking instead of the mortar. Another reason why is when the bricklayer lays down the mortar, they furrow the bed, which means they'll squidge it down onto the bricks, which will leave potential voids on the back of the brickwork, which will not be very good or strong for fixing onto. Also my third and most convincing reason for me at least is a big part of my job is removing fence posts, um, old material from walls and the easiest fixings to remove are always rule plugs into mortar. But the only time I'd suggest not drilling into the brick is if the bricks are weakened or damaged around where you want to fix onto or you know you'll be removing whatever it is you're, you're fixing onto the wall and you want to fill the holes afterwards and it's going to be a lot easier and quicker to fill mortar than it is to replace a brick. Also, if you're nailing anything onto the wall like these cable clips, it's going to be a, a lot easier to nail through the mortar. Now I'm going to be fitting this key safe to the wall. I'm obviously going to want to make this as hard to get off as possible. So I'm going to use a brown plug. It hasn't got a lot of weight to it, but a brown plug is going to make it nice and secure. A blue plug is probably a bit too much for them. Okay, so unfortunately, because where the holes are positioned on the actual lock itself, it means that I can't get all four holes into the brickwork. That would, of course, be another reason why you'd have to drill into the mortar, is if the hole positions physically wouldn't allow the fact for you to be able to fix every single one into the brick. So if we've got one into the mortar, that's not so bad. We've got three into the meat of the brick here. Almost forgot to mention, the plug is 40 millimeters long and you want to over drill by about 10 millimeters just to allow enough room for this to go in nice and easy. So what we'll do is we'll set a depth gauge by just taping the masonry drill bit with a bit of tape and that will just mark out the exact depth that we need to go to for our fixing. Brick is a very porous material so you want to start your drill off on the normal drill option instead of hammer and this is just going to avoid you starting off and the drill bit sliding around on the brickwork. Then once you've started off your hole you can then switch to hammer drill and finish off drilling to the depth required. You'll probably notice that I didn't need to use a hammer drill on the mortar there because it's just a lot weaker and a lot easier to drill through and I wouldn't use a hammer drill on mortar because you'll just end up widening the hole a bit too much and then the plug won't sit nice and tightly in the hole. Once you've drilled all your holes it's just a simple case of slotting in the plugs and then tapping them home. It should fit nice and flush in the hole but it may just stick out slightly proud of the brickwork in which case then you just need to screw in a screw slightly into the rule plug and then just hit it with a hammer just to knock it home and to be recessed in the brickwork. That's going to mean that anything that you then fit onto these plugs isn't going to sit on top of the 
plug itself and not completely flush with the brickwork. Now, if you want to see a video that uses screws that don't require any rule plugs at all and just screw directly into the brickwork, then please click the suggested video here. And also, if you want more tips and tricks on how to keep your garden and fence in tip-top shape, then please click that subscribe button.